The Japanese pentatonic scales sound great to me. And I've been playing around with them for a few years now and learning more every time I work with them. And that might sound kind of strange, but they don't seem to follow the simple ways we look at things here in the West. And so it took me a little while to figure out the simple things like what key am I in? What am I actually trying to do with this particular uh, pentatonic scale? And what I want to do today is let you in on the trick I use to finally wrap my head around uh, these beautiful scales. Now I know everybody who's in metal and what have you all shred on these things. They use them all the time. And many websites or many uh, YouTube channels are of course showing this stuff, but it's not showing me what I wanted to know, which was really the simple ideas of what's going on. And so here's the way I kind of broke this down so that I could understand it fairly easily. Now, we're just gonna talk about two of the Japanese pentatonic scales. Uh, they go by the names Hirajoshi and Kumoi. And there's a whole historical challenge in figuring out exactly which scale is which, exactly which modes are which. And a lot of great YouTube channels have worked a lot to explain these, put these ideas together. I'm not going to worry about those today. What I'm going to worry about today is just how to understand these scales in ways that I find easy to do. And it turns out it's very simple. We all know the major pentatonic scales, and we run them in the different boxes and, and how they go. But let's not do the pentatonic scales that way. Let's do the pentatonic scales as a simple, uh, probably the simplest way of playing it. I'm gonna do the D pentatonic scale. Those are our five notes, simple as that. And so we're gonna use that to get the context of our uh, Japanese scale. So the Hirajoshi scale, starting with D again. We only do a half step there. We drop down to the fifth and just do a half step. So if we remember our major pentatonic scale, full steps, our uh, Hirajoshi scale, half step, half step. Now when you play it like that, it doesn't sound right. We, we miss something, it seems. And what we miss is that in, in this sort of one note at a time and playing all the notes in sequence version, we kind of hide the, uh, the elegant beauty. So think about these last two notes we played. Well, they also appear on our E string. So when I'm starting on the, D, on, on the A string with the D note, I actually start behind that note, behind the root, and come up to it. So we would be going... And that's interesting to me, that it's really coming off the major scale because in our normal looking at the Japanese uh, uh, scales, we think of them as minor, and that's because they are. The third is actually flatted. And so this sort of simple scale, now when we build the next level in, we have lots of stuff to play with. And so that is our Hirajoshi scale. It's just like playing our major scale, but flat the third and flat the sixth. So what key is it in? Well, by our viewpoint uh, here in the West, we'd be saying, well, that is in the D scale. And it's a D minor, most likely, because we have gone minor, whereas with the exact same scale, if I was uh, playing the D pentatonic would have been the D major pentatonic. So this is a little convoluted, it's a little weird, but it makes sense. Now what about the Kumoi scale? I've ignored the Kumoi scale for years. I, I saw it and I just sort of let it go. And the Kumoi scale is basically the neatest little hybrid of our major pentatonic and our Hirajoshi scale. So it goes D, then we're going to come up here to our E, we do the half step, just like we would have for the Hirajoshi, come down to the fifth, but then we return to the full sixth. So our scale. And it just sounds that beautiful Japanese tonality to it. And it's so simple when we're comparing it to our major pentatonic scale. We're really just shifting the third and the sixth around a little bit 
uh, in order to uh, get these scales. Now, we're not talking about the history of these scales. We're not putting together the complexity. Uh, there's great discussions all over the place on people trying to put together these different ideas because they did come from very different instruments. We're just emulating it on the guitar and enjoying the beauty of the sounds, or at least I'm enjoying the beauty of the sounds. So hopefully this gave you some insights into how we're relating the major pentatonic scale, or how I'm trying to relate the major pentatonic scale to these minor scales and really using that just to clock the differences. So that was my big breakthrough. That's what really let me start understanding uh, how to form these Japanese scales. And then once we have those basic ideas, we can play them all over the place again.